Hey Manifestors, this is Eye of the Dawn. Thank you so much for joining me and watching my channel. I'm going to do a, a short but in-depth reading for you. Manifestors. I was in a relationship with a manifester. I'm a projector. That was challenging for me. <laughs> also for him too. All right. Um, because he ain't listen. Manifestors don't listen to projectors. All right. So the cards that came out for you is the Ten of Wands. All right. So you see a person here. Um, this cloudy head struggling for his life. Because, you know, you've taken everything that you can possibly take at this point with certain issues. Sorrow. Okay. I'm just going to look, let you see all the cards at once. In the Five of Pentacles, you feel left out in the cold. All right. You feel like, um, why do I have to do everything? Why? Why won't anybody help me? Why? And and also, the universe is telling you that you have mastered your spirituality. You don't need anybody's help. It's a matter of loneliness. You don't like being alone. But you do it to yourself, Manifester. You put yourself like on the outskirts because you guys like to show off how much you don't need anybody. And so you end up in this kind of like spiritual purgatory where you put yourself in this space which is fine the universe the goddess can use anything to her advantage and help you out but you're sad now you you've been going at it alone you carry all the weight you have made promises to yourself and to other people and it's a load that you honestly don't want to carry alone but then at the same time you know it's a matter of um feeling secure within your being to reach out to the right people. You, you're not necessarily going to be able to reach out to people who can't relate to emotions, you know. So, and, and also, I, I see, like, you, your need to impress people. You need to be impressive. Who are you going... And, 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 and the people you're going, impressing aren't impressed. They don't, they don't care about the same things that you care about, you know, and that leaves you feeling sad and like an outsider, even though you're the one that's doing everything and moving and shaking. You're, you're the spiritually developed one in the group because Wands is about your inner fire and spirituality, and you've taken on a great load this lifetime so that you can transmute the energy. Why are you, why are you sad and feeling like an outsider? Because you should be celebrating. You did it. Yay. Okay, this is why. All right. Emotional trauma, codependency, and issues and matters of you not really seeing, um, you're not, you're no longer, you, you need to get away from the people you've been around for a long time. You're no longer to participate in the same things that you, that you usually participate in. And I feel like you need some type of joy light at the end of the tunnel because I'm, the word that keeps popping up is lonely loneliness in your avoidance of loneliness okay the three of emotions and then the two of pinnacles in your um in your need to not feel lonely you have overstayed in relationships that aren't good for you and probably gotten back into some bad habits and um, gotten yourself off focus and off balance. It's time for you to rebalance yourself because you are at the end of a cycle and it's time for you to move forward and and own your, your growth spurt instead of resisting it. You are the man, you are the woman um, and yeah, when you make it to the top, a 10 completion, it is lonely, but don't worry. You will find your balance again. You will find 
um, a home with people again. It's going to take some time. And, you know, when, when it comes to loneliness, time is like the enemy. Like, nobody likes to spend any, nobody, nobody wants to spend, like, any time in that zero point space between, like, um, <laughs> you initiate, when your initiation is over and, <laughs> and when you start a new life. So, I just want to encourage you, I just wanted to encourage you guys that you can do it. You you might be freaking out a little bit here and like going into some bad habits and throwing a tantrum, like a, a spiritual tantrum towards the universe because you're mad um, because you didn't know that when you so signed your soul contract before you were born, it was going to be like this. You didn't understand. You didn't know the discomfort maybe that you were going to have to experience, but that's because you're growing. This is a growth spurt. And you're already there. You just need to. It's like you don't like your. You don't like. You don't like yourself. You don't like where you've ended up. You don't like how people view you. You don't like that. You know, no matter how hard you work, people still view you in a way that you don't want people to view you. Like some people are just going to always view you like you're that same old person from the block. That little peep, peep, perp. Peep, perp, peep, squeak. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like some people are just going to always have a certain version of you. You can become um, a president of a high power corporation. And some people will always just be like dismissive of you. And there's nothing you can do about that. Um, but get away from them. <laughs> They're annoying asses. You know, it can go both ways. But throwing a tantrum and just kind of like trying to wiggle out of the situation by um, showing your disdain doesn't isn't going to change anything. Uh, the goddess or God is pretty neutral when it comes to things like this. It doesn't really budge on it. it doesn't budge on anything because it's a law of nature. This is you. This is a good thing. You're looking at it like it's an awful thing. But you should be patting yourself on the back. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.